Multi-factor authentication, the extent to which we can bolster authentication technologies are, you know, the, the validation of identity uh, greatly increases uh, our ability to thwart many of these attacks. You know, the reason MFA is viewed uh, as such a critical control, folks, is that when we look at and sort of dissect cyber attacks, including ransomware, at some point in many of these attacks, there was there was a login ID, a login credential, an identity that was compromised, a user ID and a password. So if we look at the process uh, around the attack that was leveraged by the malicious actor, you can make some 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 uh, some uh, assumptions there. If it was harder, more difficult for the malicious actor to obtain access to that account, then the attack may not have happened or it may have been significantly mitigated. That's where MFA comes in. And that's why it's viewed as such a key and important preventative attack. You know, it has the ability to greatly reduce probability and magnitude of an attack on the front end.